Today's video is about how to fail your cabin crew interview. Have you been applying numerous times for a cabin crew position but have been failing? Do you wonder what it is that you're doing wrong? We have listed 32 things that may be the reasons for failing your cabin crew interviews. We will discuss 10 of them here. If you're doing any of these things, then you have just found out the reason why you have been failing. If you want to find out those 10 things, then keep, keep watching! watching. And if you promise to stick around until the end of this video, we will give you a bonus point. Mm. These 10 things will definitely ruin any chances you might have in landing the career of your dreams. Number 1. Be late. Punctuality is one of the traits vital for a cabin crew role. Be late in a scheduled interview and you are almost sure that you will be sent back home right away. Mm. Number two, chew gum during the assessment day. Yes, make sure your breath smells fresh the whole time, but use breath freshener or mints instead. Chewing gum is a no-no. Do this and let interviewers or assessors see it, and you will definitely be told off if not sent straight home. Number three, have a visible tattoo. All airlines in the world does not allow their cabin crew to have any visible tattoos. A few does not allow it even if it is not visible. Show up on a cabin crew interview showing off your tattoos and you can be sure to kiss your chances of passing goodbye. Mm. Tattoos are a definite no-no, especially the visible ones. Number four, wear your dental braces. Dental braces are not allowed for any cabin crew of any airline. Wear your dental braces in your next interview and the interviewers will surely ask you if you are willing to remove them. And some may ask you, do you know you are not supposed to wear your dental braces? Number five, be a loner and mind your own business. Cabin crew applicants must show they are comfortable to work in a group or a team as you will be working in teams as cabin crew at all times. Show the interviewers that you are not mingling nor talking with other applicants and you will show them that you are not fit for this role. Number six, interrupt your group mates or assessors when it's their turn to talk. Respect and good listening skills and considering your colleagues' suggestions and ideas can be very helpful when you are working as a cabin crew. During a cabin crew interview, monopolizing your group mates and talking too much and not giving chance to others or not listening nor respecting their ideas will definitely be a major factor or reason for failing. Number 7 use your mobile phone and check your watches all the time guys as cabin crew applicants you must show that that day is very important for you and that you are physically mentally and emotionally present mm -hmm. that you can survive without checking your phone or your watch checking your phone regularly and your watch signifies that you would rather be somewhere else than there you know usually interviewers can get you and they will give you what you truly want so they will send you back home so that you can do whatever it is that you would rather be doing number eight say negative things about your previous employer some applicants think that doing this justifies the fact that they cannot stay long time in one company However, bad-mouthing your previous 
or your present employer tells the interviewers that you will also be saying negative things about their airline once you later on decide to leave. By blaming your previous company for you leaving, you are shredding your own application papers and pieces. Number nine, show overconfidence or underconfidence. Most of the time, being in the middle is best. Extremes is not good. Too much confidence will irritate your co-applicants and your interviewers. But absence of confidence, though, shows that you are too shy for this kind of a career. Showing too much or too little confidence is not going to help you land the cabin crew job or career of your dreams. And number 10, question the interviewer's decision why you did not pass. Respect their decisions and do not ask too many questions why you failed. They do not need to explain their decisions to you. Argue with their decision and insist that you are perfect for the job and you can kiss your dreams of getting a job on that airline anytime in the future goodbye. So here's the bonus point, number 11. Yes. Post rude and bad things or comments on social media about the airline just because she did not pass their assessment. Remember, you can always try again. If you want to ruin your chances in the future with the same airline, then you can do this by all means. These are just some of the things you can do to ruin your chances of landing the cabin crew job of your dream. If you want to know our complete list, mm -hmm. head on to our website cabincrewinspirations.com We will put the link in the description box below. Yes. Okay, so that's it for today. Mm -hmm. Hope you found value in this video. If you did, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Yes! yes.